myself Kunal Chandra and today we are going to understand DC compound motor and generator. The panel we are using has order code 46800. Let's move on to the kit. The kit we are using has some components like 3 DC voltmeters or the all 3 voltmeter has range of 0 to 300 volt. 3 DC emitters, the all 3 emitters has 0 to 5 ampere range. 1 auxiliary supply. Second DC compound motor, DC compound generator, extension load and variable DC supply. In this kit we have also one DC compound motor and one DC compound generator. DC compound motor has 750 watts and one horsepower and the DC generator has of 700 watts and 220 volts output. So this is the full description of compound motor and compound generator lab. So let's just move on to our experiment number one whose aim is to study and verify load characteristics of long shunt commutatively compound generator. In experiment one, the items required are connecting patch cords, DC load and DC supply. So let's just move on to the procedure of experiment one. Step one, first of all, make sure that Earthing of your laboratory is proper and it connected to the terminal provided on back side of the panel. Step 2. Make sure that DC supply of is off and knob of its variac is at zero position. Step 3. Connect emitter terminal A1 to positive terminal of variable DC supply and A2 to terminal 3. Now connect negative terminal of variable DC supply to terminal FF and connect terminal YY to terminal A. Now connect terminal F to terminal Y and terminal FF to terminal AA in motor section. connect voltmeter terminal V1 and V2 to terminal A and AA in motor section and connect emitter terminal A5, A6 to terminal AA, A and YY in generator section. Now connect emitter terminal A3 and A4 to terminal Y and F in generator section. Terminal AA to terminal FF in generator section. Now connect voltmeter terminal V3 and V4 to the terminal A and AA in generator section and connect voltmeter terminal V5 and V6 to terminal FF and F in generator section. Now connect the load terminal across the terminal Y and FF. Connect the terminal of motor shunt field F and FF to terminal F and FF in motor section. Now connect the terminal of motor section series field Y and YY to terminal Y and YY in motor section respectively. Connect the terminal of motor armature A and AA to terminal A and AA in motor section respectively.
connect terminal of generator armature AA and A of terminal A and AA in generator section. Connect the terminal generator series field Y and YY to terminal Y and YY in generator section respectively. Connect the terminal of generator shunt field F and FF to terminal F and FF in generator section respectively. connect DC load to the socket provided on the panel and make sure that DC load is at off position. Connect variable DC supply to the terminal provided on the panel. Check the connections as per given in the manual. Switch on the variable DC supply and slowly adjust the voltage up to 200 volts. DC output voltage to the variable DC supply. So we have completed our connection. So start the kit. We have taken 40 watts uh, bulb as a load. So let's start. We are taking only 110 volts for safety purposes. You can exceed up to 200 volts. You can see that at 63 volts the bulb starts glowing. The field voltage is 125 volt and our armature current is 0 0.6 volt ampere. So let's take the reading of tachometer. So the reading of tachometer is 973 so this is the reading of tachometer and voltmeter and emitter at 40 watts of load now we can shift to 100 watts of bulb at 100 watts of bulb you can see that the starting bulb uh, voltage is 73 watt volt At 110 volt, you can see that the voltage is decreased in 119 or 120 and the ampere is increased 0 0.79 ampere. Now we have to take the reading of tachometer. Reading of tachometer is 980. This is our experiment one whose aim is to study and verify load characteristics of long shunt commutatively compound generator. So move on to our experiment number two whose objective is to study and verify load characteristics of short shunt commutatively compound generator. So the only change in experiment one and experiment two is we have to connect A3 of emitter uh, emitter to YY of generator section. So the connections of experiment 2 is done. Let's move on to the kit for the performance. So we slowly increase the voltage at 210 volts. So now take the reading of tachometer.
the reading of tachometer is 976. Now we have shifted the load from 40 watts to 100 watts. In this also we are slowly increasing the input voltage to the 110 volts. At 110 volts, the field voltage is 120 and the armature current is 0.79 ampere. Now we are taking the reading of tachometer. The reading of tachometer is 973. So with this, we have completed our experiment number 2 whose aim is to study verify load characteristics of short shunt commutatively compound generator. Now we are starting our experiment number 3 whose objective is to study and verify load characteristics of short shunt differently compound generator. So in experiment number 3 we have to just do is to interchange the terminal of compound generator series field y and yy to terminal y, y and y. So we are slowly increasing the voltage up to 110 volts. You can also observe that the motor is rotating in reverse direction. Due to we have interchanged the terminal of compound generator. At 110 volts of input, the field voltage is 123 and field current is 0.63 ampere. Now let's take the reading of tachometer. The reading in tachometer is 980 rpm. We have to shift our load from 40 watt of bulb to 100 watt. We have shifted it. Now we have to increase the voltage slowly. After shifting the load at 110 volts of input, we have get field current of 118 and armature current 0.79 ampere. Now we are taking the reading of tachometer. The reading of tachometer is 975 rpm. We complete our experiment number third who is to study and verify load characteristics of short shunt differently compound generator. The full description of compound generator and compound motor lab. If you have any doubt, please contact Tesla Technologies Private Limited. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.